I am in Memphis, a place where I have never spent any amount of time whatsoever, and I am at this place called Java Cabana, which apparently has a pretty long-running open mic, um, and it's supposed to be a pretty cool thing. And uh, yeah, it's a small place, um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of an interesting neighborhood. Not the worst, I'm told. <laughs> um, I guess it's part of the Midtown neighborhood. Immediate environs seem okay. There was uh, ample parking down the road. Um, and this is the inside of the place. Well, I knew my luck wasn't going to hold out. Um, man, that was a travesty. It was a train wreck. It was horrible. Um, and apparently, the thing is, is this is like supposed to be the best open mic in Memphis, and it's been running for about 18 years. So, all right, I show up. It's about 7 o'clock or so, and I look outside, and there's like a, 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 <laughs> a fire a trash can fire going on and then there's like classic rock and there's somebody playing horribly soloing um on top of all the classic rock so just okay well that seems interesting so um at about quarter to eight the host shows up and he's this kind of i don't know probably early 30s hipster dude and um when I talked to him about what I'm doing, he just got all kind of flustered and was like, well, I might have to talk to the owner. She might not be cool with that dude. And I, okay, all right. So then he calmed down a little bit and we talked again and he seemed, okay, well, that's probably all right. And, you know, so it's like, okay. <laughs> so in this place there's a couple of like snarky looking hipster dudes and um there's a couple of young women that look like they're doing their homework and a, and a middle-aged guy that's just kind of working on his um, ipad so nobody else with a guitar um at precisely eight o'clock he goes up and announces the thing uh as if it was a room full of people drooling to get behind the microphone. It was just really surreal. It was so bizarre and so <laughs> jarring that I didn't even record it. Um, and then he goes, nobody? And I wanted to hold out till there were more people in the place. So, <laughs> so he does a couple of tunes. He starts on piano and reasonable piano player, not great. Good singer though. The guy can actually, the guy has a fair set of pipes when he's getting into it and he's you know, not trying to be cool. Um, and he goes up to the mic again, and anybody, and um, <laughs> looking at this room full of five people. And so then he does another one on guitar, but he can't play his own guitar. If he's saying new strings or whatever, and it was just horrible. So I lend him mine, and it's slightly less horrible, but again, good voice on the guy. Um, and then there's more people that have come in during this rapidly so uh, there were probably about 20 people in there so i'm going all right well you know i want to put a stop to this so i'll go up so i do and um and i play a song and right before i start the song the host puts on his coat and he's like hey dude hate to do this to you but i gotta go cop a smoke all right <laughs> so so he leaves, and I do a song, and I announce before the song what my purpose there was. And um, um, so I do a song, and all the while, off to my right, there's this crazy woman who's spouting all sorts of weird, incoherent stuff at me. And because I have my name on uh, my guitar, uh, she's going, John Ludy, do you like snakes? 
How about wax? I saw the moon last night and it was screaming at me. I mean, just all this bizarre stuff. But, you know, I'm used to that. <laughs> so I just ignore it. Um, so in I, I start playing my second song and this really skeezy looking older guy comes in with a guitar and a practice amp and he hooks up with the crazy woman and that must make for a really interesting home life and they go over to the couch that I've been occupying and he knocks over my glass of water onto this camera and all of it onto the floor. And Okay. Yeah. At that juncture, I stopped the song and I'm just, no, I gotta rescue my camera and I gotta get the hell out of here. This is a freaking joke. So, I did. <laughs> and on the way out, the host you know, having a sudden pang of conscience or something, he, he starts following me, dude, dude, like, uh, like, yeah, yeah, sorry about that guy, man, because, like, he shows up drunk all the time, and I've thought about telling him not to come, I don't know, maybe I should do that, and it's like, yeah, okay, whatever, brother, <laughs> and I just bail, so, wow, uh, what a what a fun uh, what a fun little experience! So <laughs> glad I could share that with you. The venue, the venue was delightful. It was a nice little place. I mean, it seemed again like it was kind of a snarky hipster hangout, but the coffee was good. I was very tempted by their muffins and cookies, which looked really nice, but I didn't. Um, gotta watch my girlish figure. The host, yeah, not very good at what he did, in my opinion. Sound system was adequate, a small place, they didn't have much of one, just speaker on a stick with a uh, you know, small rack. Um, yeah, the uh, audience, once the audience showed up, once there were about 20 or so people in there, aside from the crazy person, uh, they were great, actually. I finished my first tune, and there was lots of applause, and people seemed like they were really into it. Um, other performers, well, okay, by the time I was just done, there were a couple other people uh, with guitars in there, but they seemed to be hanging back, so I don't know. I can't speak to it except for the crazy old guy who started playing the same incoherent lead guitar as I was leaving the venue. Um... No. <laughs> Obviously, no. In fact, I can think of a lot of things I would much rather do. Like, I would probably uh, rather stick all my fleshy appendages inside a large cage full of starving rats than ever do that one again. That was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Complete antithesis to all the other wonderful places that I have played in my little journey so far. So, yeah. Ooh, gong, bad, <laughs> nasty, no. All right, that's it. Uh, hopefully the next one will be, uh, will be better than that. Bye now.